Tony Martinez, copycat Billy. I Okay, sorry, I can't do it. Um, there's some like pseudo drama boiling up in tiny amounts in tiny places, uh, but essentially the answer is no. Billie Eilish was not copycatted by Melanie Martinez because Melanie Martinez's song Copycat is not a copycat of Billie Eilish's song called Copycat. It's confusing, I know, trust me, stick with me here. But essentially, some people think that because the name is the same, it's a copy, uh, and then other people are pointing out that hardly anybody actually thinks that, and so you should all just go away. Uh, and it's it's funny, but Melanie Martinez has put out a new song, and it's her first time collabing with another artist, and it's Tierra Whack is the rapper that she's collabing with. And honestly, this song feels like somebody's spilling the quote unquote tea, because there's a lot going on here. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into some of these lyrics and explain why Billie Eilish might actually, not Billie Eilish, Melanie Martinez might actually be accusing another female artist of copying her work or stealing it. Now, I don't know if there's any truth to these accusations, but I think we'll see in the future. So she starts, over my shoulder, eyes peeking in, analyze my every move, what current state I'm in. Uh, Want to get that A-plus baby so you take my shit because I am little, right? I won't call you out. Man, that hits home. And it basically, she's using this, this metaphor of a copycat in school who steals somebody else's homework or reads off their answers so that they don't have to do the work but can get all of the credit. And it sounds like it could be about the music industry and maybe another artist or somebody she's collabed with taking what she's worked on. And now Melanie Martinez is just telling everybody, you know, because I am little, Right? I won't call you out. If I got a dollar every time some big record label, you know, put a copyright strike on one of my videos because I read the lyrics to discuss them. I mean, that feels like I'm so little I can't do anything to call them out. And so they're just taking the ad revenue for my video. I'd have probably like $200 right now. But enough about me. This is Melanie's song. Teacher saying you'd get credit. Why would you stop now? You're so desperate, craving that spotlight, shining on the ones who do that shit because it's their life. And that's the first time that it starts to sound like, this isn't just about kids. Wait a second, this sounds like it's about somebody's career. And what is a career closely related to Melanie Martinez that involves creating things that other people can copy and steal? Music, making songs, and craving that spotlight. Sounds like it's talking about an artist, people who do that shit because it's their life, people who are artists and musicians for a career. That's, that's why I think that this song is about the real world, but I know the people around you say just do what it takes to make it all the way. Sounds like this person has some bad friends influencing them to steal. You're the copycat, you take it then you leave it. Honey, just like that, uh, you're falling flat, you find someone like me to bring you up right back. Who is doing this? Like it really sounds like she's talking about somebody actually stealing her work and I really want to know. It's gonna get a little bit more specific. Obsessed with power, you want it for yourself feeding on misogyny, but still you call yourself a feminista, which is Spanish for feminist. If that were really true, you wouldn't feel as if I were a current threat to you. So if you really were standing up for, for women, then you wouldn't be scared of me because we're both women, it sounds like. Yeah, later in verse three, she refers to this person as lady, so they are both women. Uh, but she continues into verse three, find someone else to leech on, lady. My blood's for me, not for you, baby, referring to this person as a vampire, which is pretty insulting. College estate and all your savings, my blood's for me, so no more taking. And especially when she refers to this person as a feminista. It could be that Melanie Martinez is Latina. She is from, her family's from Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, and so that could just be her, you know, using a little bit of Spanish to spice things up. She could also be referring to a Spanish-speaking Latina copycatter. But it sounds like this person is in the music industry if indeed the song is about somebody, which I don't really know why she would write the song if it wasn't. Uh, but then we get into the, the stanza by Tierra Whack, and I'll just read a portion of it. Um, because it doesn't really sound like it's her story to tell. It sounds like it's Melanie, and Melanie's bringing somebody else in to help augment it. So I don't think we'll find a lot of narrative clues there, but she sings or raps, anything you can do, I can do better, in prison for stealing, go and write you a letter, courageous and clever, creative director. Oh, maybe a creative director? I raised the bar high, yes sir, I broke the record. And then she talks about how great she is for a little bit and how she's gonna get back at this person. And then at the end, copyright lyrics, you can't steal my spirit. They live for my music, they're dying to hear it. So basically, no matter what you do, I've still got fans who actually care about me, whatever's going on with you. And in the bridge, imitated, never duplicated, you wish you're related, you wish you'd have made it. And Melanie ends the song singing copycat, copycat. So the basic gist of this whole song is that somebody is ripping her off, we don't know who, 
It, maybe it's not even anybody real. Maybe she's just singing a song about an experience in the past. Or maybe she's singing it from the perspective of another female artist who's experienced this. Or maybe she's just making up the situation. I don't know, but I'm actually really intrigued by the song. I felt like K through 12 was a really rough experience for me, even though she's done some cool things in the past and I didn't really like it. Uh, but I feel like Copycat is very interesting. I like the music to it. I'm curious to see where it goes because everybody likes a good train wreck. You know, speaking of the career of whoever she might try to, to call out or whatever. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Speaking of careers, a lot of you guys probably want to attend college at some point if you haven't already. And that brings me to today's sponsor, which is me and my YouTube channel, College Hacked. A bunch of free videos are going up over there about how to afford college when you don't think that you can and when you really don't wanna go into student debt. So there's gonna be uh, a video right here about how I graduated from college for under $8,000 at age 18, actually. It's all a true story. I hope that you enjoy that and that it's, it's helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thank you to my patrons who support this channel and really honestly do make it possible. I'll talk to y'all next time.